Hello, welcome to my channel. The main rule for the quilting is that there are no rules. You will learn, you will uh, watch others and you will find the methods and ways of quilting that works for you. And that's the most important thing because you need to find uh, what works for you to be able to enjoy the process. What you will see is my process of working with different materials and uh, different designs. And I hope some of those tips and tricks will help you in your own journey. Hi, welcome back to Polar Quilting. Today there's a pile of scraps. Those scraps are from when I was making a, a jacket for my son. Those who watched that video could uh, recognize the fabric and the fleece I used for the uh, backing. So there's a mingle here of stuff. <laughs> and what I would like to make out of it is a pyjama pillow. So I'm sure you have heard about a book pillow or remote pillow, you know, the pillow with the pocket where you can put the book or, rem or remote at the front. So, um, it's, which is a great idea by its own, but I'm going to be making a pyjama a pillow because my children never know where they put their pyjamas, which is unbelievable, but that's where I am. So, what well, the plan is to make a, a pillow with a pocket uh, for, for for them to put the, their pyjamas in. So this one will be for younger son, that's the one who had the uh, jacket with that. And uh, I will figure out what to do for my older son as well. Now, there's a big man mangle here uh, between some fabric is already a little bit quilted uh, with the fabric and some pieces are you know just plain so now i need to figure out how i can salvage some of those uh, put them together and then uh, make a bigger piece uh, and fill it with the fabric i'm not worried about the back because i will be quilting it uh, on top of it so uh, i will use a piece of fabric on the back uh, that's rubbish i will use a piece of fabric on the back to um, you know, cover or, or whatever happens, uh, you know, on the back of this uh, fleece. So, uh, I will start by cutting it into some sort of um, rectangular shapes, you know, at least with one straight uh, edge, so I can then figure out what to do with it next. <music> So um, I've also cut some of those that batting pieces and I kind of straighten it up so it will be ready for um, putting some fabric on top of it and I will just uh, sew it together with the zigzag stitch. Uh, I do have a video about how to do it in detail so I'll link it in the description below. So this is one of the longer pieces here and um, what I want is the uh, you know pillow which will be 20 by 20 inch um, a square so I will just uh, cut out from this piece 20 inches and leave the rest for um, batting with another one. So I will make it like 21 inches more or less, um, just to leave a little bit of space for the shrinkage later when it's going to be quilted. Now just straighten up this edge as well so we'll be ready to add next pieces. Okay, so I also got those pieces which are quilted on the fleece already and I kind of have to put it all together now. What I will be using is that um, quilt as you go 
putting together pieces uh, technique with a strip which will be cut to um, one inch. So when I sew quarter here, inch, and then quarter here with, with that strip and I will open it up, it will make a nice flat surface. Again, I will be still quilti quilting on top of it, so uh, that's not the problem. So I just need to kind of use whatever those pieces I've got here to make a puzzle <laughs> and um, put those things together. Okay, so now I need those uh, one inch strips. Uh, I've got some uh, those fabrics left and since that will be the top of the um, uh, that pillow, that, that, that will be that pocket and I do want to use that uh, fabric where I can. Some of those have been already cut uh, to strips so I'll just narrow it down to one inch and I think this one is one inch as well, perfect. those uh, lines here from the cutting uh, that red fleece um, it looks horrible but I actually did clean it up already once or twice because when I was making um, the jacket obviously that happened again so don't worry about it it's going to be cleaned up before the next uh, project so you see now it all nice fit uh, nicely fit together so let's see if I can link again another piece with another piece to make it a little bit bigger piece. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my middle of the block, uh, which like I said will be 20 by 20 inch. So I will now link it all around with the plain uh, fleece and then I will kind of sew, you know, as I go, the remaining bits and pieces of the uh, fabrics. Okay, so I finished putting the piece together to make sure it's 20 uh, by 20 inch uh, all around, more or less, a little bit more. And I thought I would be stitching here with that strip, uh, linking the same way as those ones, but actually I went with normal zigzag uh, because I still will be putting the um, strips, you know, to, to now go around it to make it, you know, nice and colorful. So uh, now I will be working with those strips of the fabrics and I think the best option for me will be uh, cut them to the same size of the strips and if I've got things like that, the, the triangle ones, I can also kind of stitch them together first and then cut the strip and then I will just do, you know, like a low cabin technique, just go around until I cover all of it or maybe just do strips on the top, I don't know, but... Uh, 
I think the working with the strips to finish it off will be the best option for me. Okay, so I finished the strips and I will add now the backing and I will quick quilt it, you know, free motion uh, and then it will be ready for the next step. Okay, so uh, I finished quilting the other piece, so I also prepared the front of the pillow and this is not quilted uh, obviously, this is just a little bit thicker cotton fabric I got from the scrap store. I um, also got the back panels ready, uh, it's just going to be simple, you know, envelope type of the um, close up and I also made a, uh, a handle. That's the detail I kind of thought about when I was preparing it because uh, we're going for camping and I thought, you know, it would be nice for him to kind of be able to grab it and uh, go uh, to the car and he can keep the pillow in, in the car whilst we're traveling. You know, kids are going to sleep like five seconds later they get to the car. I just need to stitch it here and it is a four inch uh, strip and just fold inside like, uh, you know, on, on each other. So just need to stitch it here to finish it off. This is my front quilted panel and now I need to um, also uh, square it up to 20 inches and then I will need to um, prepare that pocket and entry kind of and it will be something like that uh, on the corner so you can kind of squish in things inside. I want them to be securely inside. It's not the book uh, pillow where you kind of you normally would have a pocket like a front pocket and you just put it from the top. Uh, it is something more secure so the things stay inside. So let me uh, square this one up and we'll see where I can put that, um, how big that opening I would like to make. So uh, I want to keep as much of that fabric as possible. So I will square to this corner first, uh, bottom uh, left. Um, this is how I want to have a front so that Hulk is kind of main figure here. And then I'll be able to see how to square it up at the front. Okay, okay so I want that to be about that big. So obviously this will be taken a little bit by the seams allowances, but I don't want this opening to be too big. So, you know, whatever he puts inside will stay there when we're traveling. So uh, let me cut that and I will kind of make a make a you know um, trial against the other bit so let's put this one on the back be seam here and there will be seam here yeah I think it's plenty space for to kind of stuff that front with something okay so I also need to finish now this edge so I've got a little bit of uh, strip left from when I was doing that bit and uh, I will just do uh, you know like I would finish off the quilt
Okay, so I think I will quickly paste that front uh, together, just like, you know, uh, an eighth of the inch uh, around it, because I obviously need to still uh, later put the handle and I just need to make sure it's not going to be in the wrong place, which may happen if you're not careful. So let me just pin that and I will stitch it just slightly all around so it doesn't move when I put the other layers in a minute. So handles, how big do I want? Um, probably that so uh, I will add about inch on each side for sewing so I can cut the edges now I need to find the middle of my pillow and I will use a small uh, ruler to kind of get myself in the right spot so about two inches away two and a half inches two and a half let's make it uh, two and a half so two and a half on this side is here and then need one more pin two and a half inches on this side is here Okay, so that's why I want to have a handles. So I need to tuck them this way. So when I then sew it together, obviously it will finish with nice edge like this. So let's put one on this side. And again, I will just go roughly through that edge here, just so it doesn't disturb later. And again on this side. As far as it's in the middle, the size of that handle really doesn't matter uh, that much. So let me just tuck it. Okay, so yeah, when it's sewn, and I will turn it around, it will be a nice handle. So now I'm ready to put um, the back panels. So that will be one. And I will pin them very, very well to make sure nothing is moving when I'm sewing. And uh, the stitch I will be using to put it all together is like a um, small triple straight stitch I've got on my machine. Have a look if you've got it because it's quite nice reinforced stitch and I use that for any type, this type of things or the bags or you know anywhere where there will be quite a lot of you know wear and tear. Uh, it quite nicely secure the uh, edges or you know the stitch, the main stitch. If you don't have it just go around twice. Uh, you, you, or, you know, narrow the stitch a little bit, go around twice and trust me, nothing will happen to that uh, item ever. It's just going to be very nicely secured uh, edge. For a 20 inch pillow, I do cut it to 20 inch and obviously a little bit of will be taken by the uh, seam allowance and that's fine because that means that, you know, your pillows, which may not be very fluffy, will fill up the pillows very well. And for actual, actually for this pro particular project, the pillow should not be very fluffy uh, because you want still that space for an item to be put inside. So you can use, you know, a little bit um, less fluffy pillow, something what you had for a while for that project. Okay, I'm ready to stitch around and we'll see how it looks. And here it is, finished number one pillow it's very big it's big enough for, to put pajamas and his favorite teddies and even the night book to be fair it's it's like a bag 
which is great. So uh, before I stuff it and I show you how it looks, you know, when, when it's ready to be used, I need now um, make another one for my second son. Obviously I cannot have, you know, gift for one, not the gift for, for the other one. So let me crack on with that one. Uh, I will be using for it two and a half inch squares because he's a fan of Minecraft. So I will just some, do some simple Minecraft design for him for, for that uh, pocket front. And here they are my finished uh, pillows uh, with the pocket. They can use them to put their pyjamas when they are at home. And uh, when we go for camping, they can put uh, pyjamas and the teddies and maybe a book or something uh, so they can uh, go with them. And a little bit of close-up. I think they came out uh, very nice. The guys are very happy with those. They already asked for another designs uh, to be made. So <laughs> I probably have another three, two or four uh, coming. But because they will be able to use it, you know, on daily basis as a normal pillow cover, that's why I don't mind making more uh, for them to use. For the green one I've used uh, scraps from my two and a half inch uh, scrap so it's all been scrappy though um, some of them are you know some of the parts are more scrappy than others. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a comment uh, the best way of commenting on it is put your thumbs up if you liked it uh, subscribe if you haven't done so for more scrappy projects thank you for watching Thanks for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to my channel to support my work. For further inspiration and examples of my work, you can check my Instagram or Facebook page. Happy creating!